Gavin McInnes made a giant ass of himself on Sean Hannity's show while discussing women's rights. And in a way, I actually like this guy. And the reason I say that is he represents the conservative id. That's what he is. And he says what a lot of really old guys are probably thinking, what a lot of really old ultra-conservative people are probably thinking. Watch this. And I think this is sort of God's way, this is nature's way of saying, women should be at home with the kids, are they're you, happier there. I, I hope that your viewers do not take you sir seriously there's a great book because... you should read it's called why men earn more and it's all about women choosing to put family over work and that's why they earn less. having a choice does not mean that you're less ambitious and your comments are absolutely deplorable sean i would like less you ambitious in the i would you like you to adjust it I would, you're, you're a father you have a daughter heroes. if you were a real feminist you would support housewives and see them as the heroes you and women who work wasting their time you said that women are less ambitious women are you less have ambitious. said you have also said that women are better suited in the home. Yes, You've that's also a fact. said that, uh, let's see, that women are emotional and women shouldn't run for public office. <laughs> All of these things that just I never are said absolutely... women shouldn't run for yes, public you office. Have. You've said if we're that talking before. about 50% of the population, generally, out of this 250 million people or, or 150 million people, most women are happier at home. They are pretending that they like working and they're not making money because they don't stay all night at the office. They don't go the extra mile. Why they don't I work all here? weekend. I'm You're making a mistake. Here? You would be much happier at home with a husband and children. Oh, boy. Oh, I mean, boy. I'm, I'm literally oh. shaking. You just said you're single. Oh. You don't have a boyfriend. You're what? That's you're celibate? That's my choice. Yeah, look, you're miserable. You would be so much happier with oh. kids around you tonight. <laughs> Imagine coming home. Mommy's home. You're a you, you, you know you what, wanna... Gavin? You're, you're not funny. <laughs> You're not what you I'm not you do not do anything. I'm trying to make you happy. You do not do anything for the better. Sean, this yes, is funny. Do. Feminism has made this... women miserable. Women were much happier when there were when housewives were glorified. I, guess what? I right, had a choice gotta... to be married and Kid I chose Tamar... not to. Right, I have a choice. Up. To you made a mistake. Tamar, we'll give you the last word. Go ahead. I think that your guest here is doing a disservice to all of the viewers to and to do, doing a disservice to America by saying that women that I need to be married that I would be happier would be at home happier married. that. You're what miserably married? Just because no, I'm just ecstatic. having a I'm trying to share my joy. I, you should see my little two-year-old. Not two -year -old. everybody He's has the gift. same life, the life pattern as you. Okay? I know it's the fall. And not of everybody wants to marry somebody in a, in a bootleg seer sucker suit and go home to that. I don't. Now I know that a lot of uh, feminists watch my show, but also a decent number of people who are kind of agnostic on uh, women's issues, or at least taking a side, a, a hard side on the issues. And even some some men's rights people watch my show. But my question for everybody is this: Can anybody really listen to that guy and not think he's a buffoon? Can any can you, seriously? Is there anybody who listens to him and goes, "Yeah, yeah, he's got it." <laughs> He's 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 spot on. Because I'm sorry, but if if you agree with him and you believe the things that he believes, I think you're a silly person. And yes, I do think you're a sexist. I I don't know what else one would call that right there. If that's not sexism, sexism doesn't exist. Let me give you some of the things he said. He said, uh, "Women should be at home with the kids. They're happier there." Okay, I don't even know what that means. Uh, women should be at home with the kids, they're happier there. So you can speak on behalf of all women, the gender, women. I know what you want, you want to be home with the kids. How the fuck do you know? But just through personal experience, we can disprove this one. Have you ever met a woman who's uh, more, uh, you know, into her job than you are? Have you ever met a woman who's excited it, it, to do what they do for a living, or they have a hobby outside of just serving men that makes them, it, that really makes them light up with enthusiasm? Have, have you met women more ambitious than you? I certainly, I mean, I used to work at a car dealership briefly. Virtually every woman who worked there was more ambitious than me at that job. A hundred percent. This idea of women should be home with their kids, they're happier there.
You don't speak on behalf of all women, and you have no fucking clue what different women believe. Women are individuals. Just like men are individuals, and you ask, Hey man, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite movie? And you get different answers? Same thing with women, big guy. They're not all the same. You know, it's just, oh, get in the kitchen, because that's who you are. Are there some women who want to be in the kitchen? Yeah. But you know who supports them being there? Pretty much everybody. There's only a very tiny fringe of people who say, I don't want you to do what you want to do if you're a woman and you want to be in the kitchen. He said, real feminists uh, support housewives, and they think that female workers are wasting their time. No. See, that would be the opposite of a feminist. <laughs> so, a real feminist should say, all uh, women should just be housewives. That's like defining the the rigid role assigned to women as what a feminist should be. That's like taking the 1950s housewife and saying, you are a feminist. But no, it required a backlash to get away from that to allow women an equal chance to do what they want to do. So look, are there a small fringe of feminists that say, you know, basically reject that that way of living, the idea of being a housewife and taking care of your husband and the kids? There's a small group of, you know, uh, I would call them neo-feminists or third-wave feminists who are extreme in that respect where they say, yeah, like, women shouldn't be in the kitchen at all. But that the overwhelming majority of feminists and the overwhelming majority of people, here's what we think of when we think of how a woman spends her time. Do whatever you want to do. So if you want to be in the workplace, if you want to have a career, I fucking support you. If you want to be in the kitchen or you want to do that old, you know, old school role that a wi uh, that women used to do, I support you there too. It's your choice. Whatever you want to do. But what he's doing is he's flipping it. He's saying, no, a real feminist is a woman who does what I say and gets in the kitchen and shuts her fucking mouth. And then he said, you would be much happier at home with a husband and children. Dude, shut the fuck up. You know nothing about her. You don't know her. You don't know her. She's telling you to your face. I do not believe the thing that you're telling me I believe. And you're going, and you're going, yes, you do, because I say so. I got, you know, I, I ran into this trouble the other day on Twitter. I run into it all the time. People like to tell me what I believe on an issue because of a misinterpretation or a misperception that they got from something I said. No, you, you believe this because I'm telling you you believe this. Okay, but I'm telling you right here. I'm talking to you. I'm me. I know what I believe. I know what I think. I'm telling you what I believe. No, you don't believe that. You don't believe that. Why would you not listen to what she says? She's telling you what she believes, and it's not what you say. Okay. But see, this is what I mean. This, he's dense. He's dense. There's fucking concrete in his head. That's the problem. He doesn't listen. Listen, tough guy. All right? I know I'm Mr. Macho Man. Yeah, I'm going to yell at women, tell them their place. But you sound like a stupid person because you are a stupid person. It's clear that you're not bright. And then finally, uh, the best part, he goes... I'm trying to make you happy. Oh, I know. He had to finish it with the patronizing. Tap the little... It's okay, little girl. You know, I'll be nicer to you because you're a woman. I'll go softer on you because you're a woman. I'm just trying to make you happy by telling you everything about your life and what you should do. Piss off, man.